Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio where I teach you different ways to make money online. So as many of you know, a lot of my different videos focus on making money as a transcriptionist or a transcriber. And one of the questions I get asked a lot from my subscribers is how do you keep track of all the transcription guidelines? So imagine you are transcribing for Rev, for Crowdsurf, for QA World, for Scribby. And a lot of people say and ask me, should I transcribe for more than one company? And I always say 100% yes. The fact of the matter is if you are only transcribing for one company, you won't always have work. Especially right now with the pandemic, people are online at home trying to find transcription work. So you need to be applying and working for as many of these companies as you can if you want to make any sort of income. So all of the different transcription websites have different guidelines on how they handle grammar or how they want you to use different tags, punctuation, etc., etc. So in order to transcribe faster and more efficiently, you need to have some sort of system where you can easily pull up the style guides and also the style guides are constantly changing. So I have come across this extension for Google Chrome, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I want to teach you how you can add this extension and utilize it so that you can store all of your different transcription style guides and guidelines. And it is super easy to access right away and create a super effective system where you can store all of the different guidelines and categorize them all according to each website that you are working with. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and we're going to install the bookmark sidebar. And as you can see here, you know, it's almost rated five stars and again, 100% free. There is a premium version, but I'm not using that and you don't need to use that either unless you want to. So you're going to go and click add to Chrome. Then you're going to click add extension. Okay, and once you install this extension, you'll see right here this little bookmark icon and that is the icon for this particular extension. So we're going to click on set up now and this will automatically pop up on your browser. Then you can choose if you want to have your sidebar on the left or the right. I'm going to choose the left and you can see there's a little preview. You can also choose if you want it to be light or dark. I'm going to choose light and then you can choose how do you want to open your sidebar. So you can choose whether you want to click to open it up, uh, right click or left click the mouse over or to click on the icon. I want to go to mouse over, which means that every time I, you can try it out yourself. Every time I put my mouse over here, the bookmark um, section will just pop up. Okay, now we're going to click on configure appearance. And here it's really great because you can change the width of the bar and the header height. So as you can see here, this is what it will look like. So you can make it as wide as you want you know, as small as you want. I'm going to just stick to around this. You can change what the icon will look like. I'm just going to click with this, the icon color. You can add the directory arrows, choose the font size. You can make all sorts of different customizations. I'm going to click save changes. If you go over here and click on appearance, you can also change the font. So if you had some other font in mind that you really like, you can change that. I'm just going to go to the default. I like that. That's fine with me. You can change the color scheme if you want. And again, click save. And now once you've changed how it looks, more importantly, we have to add all of our files to it. So we're gonna click on bookmarks. Okay, now what we want to do is add our own directory. So each of these are different directories and we want to right click on bookmarks bar and don't click on add bookmark. Instead, go to the little plus icon and then click on the folder to add a directory. So we're going to click on that. And then we can name this, let's say transcription style guides, and then click save. So now we have transcription style guides. Now I want to make a series of different folders underneath this. So I'm going to right click again, again, directory. And this one, I'm going to call it transcribe me. Okay. And I'm going to add a different directory for each of them. So I'm going to go again, add directory, let's say rev. Okay, so let's just say I have this directory transcription style guides and I have transcribe me rev QA world scribby. Then underneath each of these, I can add my different bookmarks. So I'm going to right click on transcribe me and I'm going to click on add bookmark. And then from here, I've gone ahead 
and I found the Clean Verbatim Style Guide, and I found it as this PDF file. So I can go ahead, click on the top here, go to Copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it under the URL, and I'm going to name this Transcribe Me Style Guidelines, and then I'm going to add another bookmark, and this one was the Grammar and Mechanics. So you could bookmark any section that you think is really important. So let's say I wanted to have a section just on the Grammar and Mechanics for Transcribe Me. I can go ahead, copy this link, add it again to the URL, and put Transcribe Me Grammar Rules, for example. Click Save. Now I'll go ahead to Rev. Again, right click, add bookmark. Okay, so once you've finished filling in all of your different documents for all of your different style guides in the way that you want, close down Chrome and restart it. Now I'm just gonna hover my mouse over, and as you can see, I have this perfectly organized transcription style guidelines. I've got Transcribe Me in its own folder, Rev, QA World, Scribby, and you can just click on this icon right here if you want to add any more directories or a separator or a bookmark. And I can close it like that, open it up, and all you have to do is click on one and it will instantly direct you to the style guide that you want. And if I hover my mouse over again, or I can press this icon in the event that it doesn't work when you hover your mouse over, you can just click on the icon, and I can click on any other one that I want, the Rev Captioning Style Guide, for example. Now this has opened it up in the exact same window, but I don't want that. Let's say I want it to open up in its own separate window. Click on the bookmarks icon, then I'll click on these three dots here, and I'll click on the settings gear icon right here. And so what I want to do here is under open bookmarks, we have it so it's going to open up the bookmark under the current tab. So we're gonna put it as new tab. And that way it will open up into a new tab. So we'll click on, make sure to click on save changes, okay? Okay, so now let's say I go to the QA World Equality Ratings Guidelines. It will just open up in its own tab, okay? So I can go back and I can click on the Scribby Style Guide and it will open up in its own tab as well. Okay, and all you have to do is just hover your mouse over the side or click on the bookmarks icon to bring it up again. And I find that this is a great way for you to have everything organized, ready for you, that you can work under Google Chrome when you're doing all of your captioning. And because these companies often change their guidelines or they update them to new different versions, all you have to do when you want to update the version, so let's say, for example, Rev has created a new guideline or this one here, QA World, all you do is you scroll your mouse over and go to the one you want to change. You'd right click on it and you click on the edit icon right here to edit the bookmark. And then you can just go ahead and put in the new URL that you want. There's also a space here under additional info for all of, um, you know, any extra info you want to add to the new bookmark. Another thing you might want to do is under each of these sections, put, say, the login info, let's say, you know, for where you go to get your job. So QA World, you know, calls or Rev jo captioning jobs. And then you just click on that and it will take you automatically to the login page. If you want to organize this and change the order, you just click on this little menu icon here and you could just drag it to wherever you want it. Or you can change the order, say I find myself doing more scribby jobs, I can just take this and put it up to the top here, okay? So this is my tip for you guys. I think this is an awesome way to stay organized. Another little tip I want to give you is say you've opened up these in different tabs and you want to quickly jump to a section on contractions, for example. Click control on your computer plus F to bring up the little search bar. And then you can just type in contractions, for example, and see it will take me, it will highlight here, page 12, or show me all the different instances where they talk about contractions. Okay, so I can just quickly look, ah, okay, you know, with transcribe me, they want me to say could have, should have, instead of could have, should have. Or if I want to type in tags, Okay, and they'll, they'll show me, they'll just by pressing enter or clicking on here, I can see all the instances 
of where they will discuss this. So that's just another little quick tip for how you can quickly jump to finding the information that you want. So this is just my tutorial for you on how to keep yourself organized and how to keep track of all the different guidelines and style guides for all the different companies that you will be transcribing or captioning for. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please click like, it really helps me out, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tips on transcribing and making money online. I hope everyone is safe and well, and I will see you in my next video.